Hey guys, um, I just came in from outside, so that's why my glasses are dark. But this week's video, like I said last week, is just going to be some random things that we've been doing. Maybe next week, um, Paula has spring break next week, so maybe we'll get out and do something, I'm not sure. But this one is short and sweet again, like last week's was. So I hope you enjoy. For the squirrels. Yeah, and the chipmunks. Yeah, especially chipmunks. I've seen her rip the head off a chipmunk. Yeah. I mean, just rip its head clean off. She sits in the window, though. There's a chipmunk, I think, that runs around outside. Look at her. Look at her. Oh. Get it. You're not supposed to be watching her. She's gone now. On the road again. We just ate at Papa's and Beer, and we're on our way to T.L. Hannah High School because I have read that there is a statue of radio. And it's not the uh, Papa's and Beer in Anderson either. Mm -mm. It's on exit 27. Okay. Yeah, it was good. And yeah, it was better than the other one. I uh, yeah, I think it was. But... Kurt had enough food left over that he's taking it home, but he doesn't eat leftovers like that. So I have lunch for the next two days, unless Paula wants it, which she might if she discovers it. But of course you see, she's not with us. So there you go. She had to take a nap. Yeah, she just texted us and said she was taking a nap. She didn't text me, she texted her. She hasn't responded to my text. No, I wonder why. But anyway, we're on our way to T.L. Hannah High School. And if we find the statue, we will share it with you. Here's the ticket booth. It kind of surprises me that this is open, but there are people parked here and walking and looks like maybe some coaches might be here. But the campus is huge. So I guess they had football in the fall. I don't know. Because we're at the ticket booth. Yep. But I know, six feet apart. Well, we can't get in there. But. I can zoom in. And my eyesight is terrible. James Robert Radio Kennedy. I can read that much. The fine print, not so much. But the movie radio was about him. Cuba Gooding Jr. played him in the movie. This is T.L. Hannah High School. It is off exit 27. Yep. What road are we on? I don't know. Oh, good. Thanks. T.L. Hannah High School. But if you get off of exit 27 on 85 going north through South Carolina, that's where we are. Kurt wanted to see the Smith McGee Bridge. So as we were coming back from Anderson today, we stopped by. It's greened out a lot since the time Paula and I came by here and the water is really up because we've had a lot of rain lately. I need somebody to explain this to me. This is very interesting. There's a, there's a hanger right there. Clothes hanger. Yeah, don't get it, but, mm. but yeah, there are flowers right there and right over there when paula and i came i think it was january and it was everything was dead i don't know if this shows up on video but this is a sign of the times pollen oh man it's awful i feel like my throat is closing up you can see it swirling all in there yeah this is a really cool bridge 
and we saw at the end of this where is it not there but that next one that next section right there. okay i'm it's yeah right at the end on the right hand side there i don't think we can see it but there's a bird nest of some kind there huge But it's a neat bridge. But we didn't walk out there. I decided to stop by Duncan today. And I want to show you what I got. I love it. I got a medium iced decaf with a shot of mocha, double milk, and one Splenda. I can't wait. I need it. I need something sweet. And then my favorite chocolate. It is a chocolate cake glazed donut. Yum. You'll never guess what Granny's doing to me. Lauren is here. To my non hair. Contrary to popular belief, I do have hair. A lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Granny. Oh, Christmas. Do you seriously know that I'm recording? Where is it? Can you not find it? Look, there it is. Ah! Can you get it? Huh? Can you get it? Huh? Oh, look. Ah! You got it. And she puts it all back underneath. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, it's under the fridge. Now, now, watch it, watch it. She get it. She watches it on a pencil there. Oh, she's trying to get that leaf. Yeah. All right, I just got home, and I stood here calling her. Hello, hello, come here. And she just sat there. Now, Kurt's going to be home soon. She's looking at me like I'm crazy. Kurt's going to be home too soon. Uh, you need to see the difference. She has an internal clock and she knows when Kurt's about to be home. When she hears him pull up, she's a different cat. With me, she doesn't care. With Kurt though, she gets all excited. She knows it's time for him to be home soon. Don't you, kitty? It is now 4.32, and she's waiting. She came right here at about 4.30. Isn't she cute? He's such a sweetie. He just pulled up. I heard him. She heard him. See? Check it out. And she does this. Hello. How are you today? Hi. Hello. Listen to her. All right, let's go. This is what she does every afternoon when Kurt gets home. And then we got to go for a walk. We got to go for a walk. Look at this. Look at this. Man. Every day. It's David's birthday. 
Hold on. Watch the low. Kurt's taking a low. picture. Uh -huh. Okay. Say happy birthday, David. Oh, get one. Nice mask, Allison. It really helps a lot when it's under your nose like that. Hey, you all got one on? Yeah. I know. We don't need one on. We're outside. All right. It's kind of dark in here. Well, wish your daddy a happy birthday. Jordan. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's dark. So wish David a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, Mom, which one, David? Mom, which one? So, yeah. Happy birthday. All right. Well, we're at Longhorn. This is the first time we've been to the one in Livonia. So we'll see. All right. It is time to order band chicken. And I looked in our freezer. And <laughs> this is what I have. I have a hodgepodge of things left. So we need to order. I had some nuggets. A couple of strips and about four wings. It's kind of pitiful because I had no idea that we had this little amount of all three of these things. So this is our dinner for the evening. Hello. Hello. I have both of you in now. Hello. Hola. This is the one time during the week that we all get together and watch anything together. Actually, the only time during the week that we ever hang out together. And this is what we're watching. The Mass Singer. <laughs> and so far, we're thinking, okay, what do we think? I've gotten them all. No. He Kurt has gotten two out of the last three. Except out of the three. Frog. <sighs> yeah, we didn't get Kurt. No, I got Kurt with the frog. Okay, so we've got Grandpa. Uh, what we thought was Jack Black, and then we went and listened back again to the singing, and it didn't sound like Jack Black. So, so no clue. Yeah, I don't know. This week is hard. Cause... And then the the piglet. We were looking at the football clues. I'm thinking Tony Romo. Yep. I don't know what he sounds like, but that was the clue. Him. That was the clue. Anyway, we're back to it, and we're going to see what happens now. Okay, this person, we have no clue. The chameleon, we have no clue. Okay, when he came on, these two both said Kevin Hart. I said Tracy Morgan. I'm standing by that, too. So what are your thoughts, Paula? I'm disappointed, <coughs> frankly. Okay, so for those of you who haven't watched it, Grandpa Monster's gone. So, it, it we're going to give a warning right now. If you haven't watched The Masked Singer, skip over this part. Because we're going to be spoiling some things. Um, basically, thank they'll you. Be, they'll never get it. Uh, oh, the but, Grandpa but, Monster. Can I say who it is? Yes. The Grandpa Monster was freaking Logan okay, Paul. Okay, turn this down, Kurt. Thank you. The Grandpa Monster was freaking Logan Paul. They guessed Logan Paul, but I was like, mm, they wouldn't have Logan Paul on there. Well, I don't even know who that is. Oh, well, you'd be surprised. Yeah, he's a YouTuber, right? Yeah. So, yep. anyway. Yep. <gasps> oh, well, 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 well. We thought the chameleon was going home. Yeah, we we thought that, yeah. I liked his voice, though. His voice Which one? Like the chameleon? Big, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like his voice. I don't know. Yeah. But now Paula's going to disappear into her room. <laughs> yeah. And I'm about to also. I'm tired. <laughs> Good night. Good night. I went to Dunkin' again today. This time I got a hot coffee instead of an iced because it's chilly today. Cold front has moved through, so it's a little bit chilly. And I got stuck in traffic, so it's about gone. I'm getting ready to start dinner. And I'm going to do something with chicken and asparagus and pasta. But this asparagus made me think of something. This weekend, Kurt and I went to dinner. Well, first of all, let me tell you, I got this at Aldi. The whole pack, less than two bucks. But I may let Kurt tell you the story. I'm getting ready to start dinner. I'm gonna do something with chicken and asparagus and pasta, but you need to tell the story. Don't say where it was. 
in a restaurant. I thought, oh great, we're gonna have asparagus for my side. I was thinking I was gonna be healthy and nice and everything. I had a barbecue sandwich. So when my, when my order came, I had three stalks of asparagus. Right, three. and if and if you had ordered it as a side, it would have been $3. Yeah. Like if you wanted an three. additional. <laughs> can, can, you, can you read between the lines? A, three. <laughs> three asparagus. So a dollar a Each. stalk. I mean, yeah. And I got this whole bag for less than $2, I believe. It was a dollar it seems like it was a dollar sixty yeah. something, but, less mean, than two dollars. The, the asparagus is great for Maldi, just great, great, great. The great. funny thing is, the first time I ever had asparagus that I liked was in Salem, Massachusetts, at I think it was called the Hawthorne House, but it was like a chicken and a pasta dish, which is similar to what I'm making tonight. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, the wayward child has come home. <laughs> she. Poor God. I really did forget to tell you guys. I'm so sorry. Uh huh. She forgot to tell I did. us I actually she was did forget. going somewhere. Sorry. sorry. And she's she's hanging out with her friends, but taking no video. I guess no. they don't want to be included in this week's video. It's not. Yeah, it's well. Not well. I yeah. just didn't think about filming. Fine then. Video. Fine then. Mm. Anybody that looks at this and goes, ooh, gross, cutting on the countertop, this is not actual granite because granite is porous. When we got these countertops, they told us, I don't even know what the material is, but they told us this is not porous like granite is, which means that you clean it, wipe it down with a Clorox wipe, clean it off, and you can use it like a cutting board. So that's what I do. I don't do meat, I don't do chicken, things like that. Veggies, fruit, yep. I'm trying something I've never done before. I cook the chicken in olive oil and butter and I have always done that ever since I saw Pioneer Woman do it and it is the best chicken you'll ever have. I cook the noodles in the pan in chicken broth and when it's almost gone, I put the asparagus in. I'm going to let it steam and then add the half and half. The sun is shining in. I hope this is going to be good. Everything in one pot. All right, so I've added the chicken back and then I topped it with Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to put the top on it, let it sit for a little while, and then mix it up. It looks really good. And it's done. When I put it in bowls, I'll add some more parm to it. But it looks yummy and I'm hungry. Everybody, let's eat. And there it is plated. Are you hungry? Yes. Good. Yeah, get out of my way. It's ready. Hi guys, happy Friday. Um, it's Good Friday today and Easter Sunday and I'm really excited. Thank you guys for watching this video. We're very excited that you guys are still watching. We love you. And bye.